Now I welcome to my channel. In this video, I discuss about hermetically sealed compressors, its component, its working, why its name is hermetically sealed, and its advantages and limitations, and its applications. Now, it's known hermetically sealed compressors because in a one unit means this black unit. Okay, it is constructed from the steel. Inside this complete unit, we are putting the two component. One is the motor. and second one is the compressor this compressor may be reciprocating or a rotary types okay so in one unit we putting the motor and compressors that's why it is known as hermetically sealed compressors okay and it is sealed on the one units so there is a no leakage problems now it is here you see the sectional view of the hermetically sealed compressors now here you watch it is a electric motors and an upper part it's the compressors and here the schematic diagrams here the compressor and it is the motor parts now this motor have the winding that is a stator and rotors so it is a motor rotor winding and it is the stator winding okay now and it is a not an completely sealed motor but its winding is open inside them okay and in this we have the three pipes one is the suction pipe that is supplied to this compressor this part is the compressors and in this figure it is shown as the reciprocating compressors it is a crank shaft on this crank shaft first of this is the motor okay and this is the shaft of the motor as well as the compressors on this same unit same shaft motor is installed and this compressor is installed this is the crank connecting rod piston cylinders and discharge refrigerant is supplied and this service line of the compressor is also provided because of the first time of the chargings and before charging of this refrigerants the complete unit is doing the dehydrations dehydration means we are removing the moisture content from the systems if the moisture inside and we feel the refrigerant that's create the problem inside the system so dehydration of the complete unit is required okay so this the again this same figures so here you can see that in the motor the copper tube winding is directly supplied this winding is opens okay when this motor is there in the completely sealed units so motor is heated after sign so how this heat energy is rejected so this heat energy removed from this motor is absorbed by these oils so it is known as the cooling oil as well as the refrigerant from the evaporator is coming at the low pressure and the vapor state so it is passing from the winding of this motor so this refrigerant is also absorbed the some heat so it is not given in the book any but it is practically when you observe these things by cutting of this sealed compressors so its tube refrigerant coming from the evaporator is first passing from the motor so what this refrigerant absorb the heat from the motor and refrigerant superheating is also done then after it is supplied in the compressors and in the compressors process is takes place and then it is supplied into the discharge line and then it is going into the condensers so it is the complete workings of the hermetically sealed compressor next we see its applications so it is widely used smaller smaller capacity refrigerating system such as use in domestic refrigerator home freezers and window air conditioning system so at the our home in the freeze and ac this compressor is used that is a hermetically sealed compressors that is a motors and compressor may be reciprocating or a rotary next its advantages the leakage of refrigerant is completely avoided so if leakage is done inside this compressor it is also on the sealed so leakage is not an problem it is a less noise operations because motor is completely sealed by using the steel materials so its noise is also come lower the lubrication is simple as the motor and compressor operate in a sealed space with the lubrication oils next one it's required a less space because when we separating install the motors and compressor it required a larger space next the disadvantages there is a maintenance is difficult because of the moving parts are not essential if there is a certain problem in the motors then we also need to replace the compressor if the problem in the compressor then we also need to replace the motor so increase over the maintenance cost as well as the maintenance is difficult because we are required to completely completely replace the parts we are not doing the maintenance either motor or a compressors we need to replace it and second is for charging and evacuation separate pump is required for charging of this refrigerant from the service lines we are required the separate pumps thank you for watching this video if you learned then like my video subscribe my channel and share with your friend